furry shoulder to cry on. Excuse me, Jack. My cheap plastic eyes are welling up with tears. Look, she's making meatloaf. <coughs> it's been a long time for me. <coughs> Look, I have needs too, damn it. I want her meatloaf. Don't take that VCR. What'll I do all day? You ever think about trying to take a little bit better care of yourself? Huh? Maybe work out once in a while? I mean, look at you. And would it kill you to have some dinner on the table when I get home? I'm not your servant. Who the hell do you think you are? I don't need this aggravation. And I don't need you. Or if I want to, I can make this mock talk. Hi, Jack. I don't need a VCR to be your friend. The mop starts complaining. I'll be your friend, Jack. You see how insane I am? I'm telling you, don't mess with me. Now, why is that the bunch of you? All right, I want to hear it all together now. Funkies are jolly good, good fellow. Funkies are jolly good fellow. Oh, Jack. You got me a VCR. Oh, that's so funny. I got you one, too. Of course, I wrapped mine. <laughs> a VCR. Floppy will be so happy. Oh, is that what you're calling it these days? <laughs> I am at that painful time between when my pills wear out and the new pills kick in. <laughs> Wait a minute. This must be them now. <laughs> ah, yes. Welcome, my little friends. <laughs> I hunger. Feed me. <laughs> Mom, mm. you'll have to go to your room. I made Jack an anniversary dinner. Oh, I see. You've poisoned it. <laughs> oh, I hope it's an excruciating death. Mom, I am not going to poison Jack. Why not? There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> oh, I only wish your father had eaten his poison. Instead, all I ended up with was a dead cat. <laughs> Snuffles? I thought you said Snuffles ran away. <laughs> Well, he did run. As the poison coursed through his blood, he ran in circles, he ran up and down the wall, shredding my good drapes. Bon appetit. What about my puppy? Did Buttons really get run over? Well, yes, he did. I could never see out of the back of that old Chrysler. Didn't you have a brother? <laughs> yes, yes I did, but he went away to boarding school and I haven't heard from him since. Oh, I wonder why he never writes. Well, let's not let it ruin our evening. Yes, snuffles and buttons are in pet heaven now and Jimmy's in his 32nd year of boarding school. <laughs> Skipping this meatloaf won't bring him back. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, I forgot to light the candles. <laughs> that was real good. I don't believe this. You do this every time. Eat the food before I sit down. Well, if I always do it, then why get surprised? What are you doing? I'm done, thanks. I don't want to eat alone. Come back! <laughs> Let's talk. I'll start. Carol and I went to Bullock's, and you won't believe what we saw. <laughs> For 
frosted eyeshadow is back. Oh. <laughs> it's your turn now. Mycodin is good for crotch rot, too. <laughs> your turn. Jack, please, I'm still eating. Of course you're still eating. That's because you, you cut everything up into little tiny, teeny pieces. Who the hell cuts peas in half? <laughs> What's with the three piles of food? You know I like my flavors to be distinct and in a certain order. You have a problem with that? No, it's fine. <laughs> I hate that word, fine. Every time I ask you how I look, you say fine. What's wrong with fine? Fine's fine. Fine is what you say about your grandmother. Don't move her. She looks fine. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you ate my last bite of potatoes. I thought you were done. I wasn't done. I was saving that. That was supposed to be my last flavor. Huh? <laughs> Potato is my favorite flavor. You know I like to end with that. It was going to be meat, peas, potato. <laughs> now I have to end with peas. You've ruined everything. So then you're not going to eat those peas? Good God. It's no wonder we're getting a divorce. We can't even get through dinner. Which I slaved over all day, and you haven't even told me how you like it. It was fine. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> Let's just settle this divorce and get ourselves out of our misery. Fine. Fine. Okay. How many days would you like to see the kids? One. <laughs> In your dreams, pal. You'll see them three. Fine. Four. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's better. And you don't have to pay for my manicures and pedicures. I'll just take that out of the child support. <laughs> you really patted it, didn't you? Mm, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> well, all right. I'll officially sign over the car to you, but uh, not the house. Well, what about items A through G? Yeah, sure. You can have them, whatever you want. Good. Wow, that's it. Thank God. It's the last anniversary we'll have to endure. And the last one that I'll have to remember. You didn't remember this one, did you? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> but I do remember our honeymoon night. Girl, you did some screaming that night. Well, it wasn't the best night to suggest a threesome. <laughs> I was only thinking of you. I thought you might be more comfortable just watching you being pregnant with Ryan and <laughs> Besides, I didn't want to take a chance poking a little guy's eye out. Oh, believe me, he was in no danger. <laughs> well, all we have to do is sign this and we're officially over. Yep. Okay. Here's to the end of us. You know, I think you should really pay for my manicures and pedicures. Hey, I want it in writing that half those eight tracks are mine. You greedy animal. We are obviously not going to solve anything tonight. Get out. Fine. 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 <laughs> Drop dead. Bite me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, I'm home. Talk to the mop. <laughs> Come on, don't be that way. How dare you come in here reeking of her meatloaf? She got us a present. Oh, I love presents. What is it? What is it? It's a VCR. Oh, God, the irony. Please let it have a remote control, please. Oh, come on, don't be stupid. You know they all have a remote control nowadays.
Isn't this great? <laughs> Terrific! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Pretty soon you guys won't need me at all, will you? I'm confused. I noticed in your credits you have a puppeteer. I didn't notice any puppets on your show. What gives? Ellen D, MD, Hollywood, California. Well, Dr. Ellen, actually Ross, the youngest son, is really an expensive animatronic puppet. Much like Whoopi Goldberg in The Color Purple. You're a very astute viewer. Keep drinking beer and watching the WB. We need people like you. <laughs> <laughs>